From the deep, dark reaches of Star Trek Online comes Nicodus and Greebug with another episode of Fleet Action Report. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Fleet Action Report, the show where we don't just play the game, but we teach you how to play the game. I'm Nicodus. I- I'm still Greebug. So oh, I, I yeah. said it right, but I put the emphasis on the wrong word. And th- this is episode 140. Once more, read alert. Um, so if you have woodwind instruments, I guess we are <laughs> we're hunting your reeds. Keep them, I guess, out of our... Uh, no, I, don't. <laughs> I was trying to make a reference to Enterprise, okay? Uh, I, I know, I know. That being said, I was a brass player myself, so... Down with all the reeds? Oh, wait. Um. <laughs> down, down with the reeds. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't even talk right now. Uh, how's your week been? Um, it's gone quite well. I did not murder any of my players. Um, I, I left them clues and, and stuff and things. So, you know, they'll have to go through the clues later. But, uh... So yeah, that that's uh, I guess a Pathfinder game um, that, that that I'm talking about. Uh, you know, we all had fun. They got to kill some things. They they also let someone get away. Um, someone decided to talk while that that person was talking to them. They slowly the, the bad person slowly migrated to a door and then ran away. Yeah, but we weren't sure we wanted to kill them anyway, so it, it's fine. It's fine. It's not like it would ever come back to haunt us later. Well, technically, it wasn't the person they were looking for. It was um, technically their underling, um, though they don't know that either. <laughs> the The person that they were looking for may have told their underling to stay here, and this person's like, ah, uh, nah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh um outside of that let's see i've done wow stuff and things uh my, my raid team is getting to uh what's this what's 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 their face uh the the last boss raz i, I just say raz I, raz Razagesh? something like that um th- that's wow so we're getting there um that's on heroic we we should be able to get that down here soon. I have a feeling that we're going to be skipping a lot of the earlier bosses since we now have the skip to do that. Um, because honestly, our our raid team's overgeared um, at this point. Some some many of us have done like Mythic Plus that we have a lot of high end gear that you can't even get from the raid. So there's not a lot that we can get from the raid that will help. Um. Let's see. Other games. Other game. Any? I've been playing. Well, well let's see. STO. Um, did did this whole thing. Got got a uh, got the uh, the suit so I can look like uh, role play as a uh, robot from a sci fi show. <laughs> also been doing some red alerts. You know, stuff like that. What have you been up to, Nicholas? How's your week been? Um, my, my week has been, um, I guess par for the course. It's, it's been a typical week. Um, I did get more game time in. I, uh, spent a lot of time on Pokemon. I'm, I'm trying to help my wife get leveled up and get through the storyline of, uh, Scarlet. She's doing Scarlet. I'm doing Violet. And I want to use her game to get the Paradox Pokemon that are unique but she's only on her fourth gym. So I'm trying to help her get leveled up so she can get through the story and, and that sort of stuff. But at the same time, I don't want to rush her because I want her to enjoy the game. So it's, it's been this ongoing thing, but I was helping her with that. Um, I've leveled a couple of my alts on STO, um, a couple of them that have just been sitting, gathering dust for a while, got uh, dusted off and, leveled now i gotta work on builds for them one of them i'm gonna turn into a a a torpedo build um, on the new eagle class and the other one is currently flying around the uh 
legendary um, dreadnought, galaxy dreadnought, galaxy X, whatever. Um, but I'm not sure that I'm going to keep her in that ship. I haven't really decided yet. I think I want to make her a tank. So I might keep her in that ship because it's not a bad tanking platform. Um, and I, I don't have uh, a lot of the other dreadnoughts. Like I don't have the uh, Kelvin dreadnought, which a the, lot of people use. The Lexington? Um, I don't have the Lexington, but that is one that I was looking at getting. I, I've got the tier six token from the, the last bundle I bought and I haven't used it. And I was looking really hard at the Lexington. So that's a possibility too. Yeah, I was like, I and think I do. The Lexington. I do love the Odyssey. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So there's all that. Um. The only other thing that I, and you guys can feel free to laugh at me. Trust me, I've laughed at myself. I discovered that there is a new Yu-Gi-Oh game for the Switch that is free to download. Um. And while it does have real money purchases at least i think it does um you can also play it completely for free and earn the cards you want for free and and that sort of stuff so i've been i've been fooling around with that a little bit um i have not dueled anyone online although it does have that capability it does online tournaments and stuff um but i've been going through a lot of the uh the what they call solo play which is just up against npcs um, and that's kind of been interesting. So, yeah, that's that's been my week. What about STO's week? How's that been? Well, right now is noticing your, your, I guess, 32nd century floaty bits that you have on your ship. <laughs> I don't know what that's those right. are. Yeah. They, they, they remind me of thumb or, or like the, the, the yeah, your, your finger buttons on, on the side of a joystick. <laughs> Um, I didn't like the struts that came on this class of ship, so I swapped them out for these. Um, but yeah, they're not entirely attached, so it's a little weird. All right, so uh, yeah, this week in STO, the galaxy goes to red alert, uh, which has already started, and you have until the 16th to get your five daily progresses. Um, so you don't have enough time to get them done now if you haven't started. Uh, you get one ultimate tech upgrade and one specialization point once you get your five progresses in. That that's that. Yeah, it's and a good one. Other announce, yeah, right. And yeah, we'll talk about that here in a minute too. So the uh, the other thing that they announced was the new event that starts Thursday, which is Voth Invictus. Um, this is going to be the second part of the year long event campaign. It starts the sixteenth. Last until April 6th, um, approximately three weeks. Takes 14 days of progress to get the reward, which is really, really interesting this time around. So the main reward is a universal kit module that lets you summon and then climb into a Voth exosuit. So it's one of those giant armored battle suits that like have the shoulder cannons and stuff. So... Yeah, <laughs> I'm not it, sure. Like, nobody knows exactly what it's going to do or what the effects are going to be or how long it's going to last or anything like that. But you, you get a clicky to summon a mech suit that you can walk around in and shoot stuff. I don't know. <laughs> it should be interesting. Uh, you also get 25,000 Dilithium and three featured TFO reward boxes. These are the things that when you open... You get a pick if you want a specialization point or an enhanced universal tech upgrade. I usually go with the specialization points, but you know, you do you. Fascinating. I was. What is what is shooting? Oh, I don't know. I I, I decided because you mentioned the twenty five k dill, wanted to check the dilithium exchange. It's back up to five hundred. So oh, it's only got one thousand two hundred ninety one zen at the five hundred mark. So it's not like it's at the millions and millions. Um, like I said, like we said before, 
in other episodes, it's going to be volatile or well, maybe not. Vol- it's not going to be stable for a while. And it, 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 it'll, it'll take a while for this to completely settle down. Cause I, I imagine there are people that might be holding on to their dilithium. So that way, when the, when, when it drops, they can put it up there and try to get more Zen for the dilithium they're trying to sell. So. Interesting. Um, all right. Cool. So that's this week in STO. And so tonight, instead of we've we've done several episodes recently where there was just a lot of information that we were throwing at people. And I, I basically decided we're not. There's your tailpipes. <laughs> we're not going to do that today. We're just going to do something kind of light and fun. So we're going to run through all five of the TFOs. And as we do, um, our plan is to switch ships and in my case characters so that we can kind of highlight different builds and and different ways of doing these tfos um Um, so the first one what in the world what Uh, i'm just watching the freighter (laughs) yeah that's uh, that's the thing that was shooting a little bit ago like it was shooting laser beams i don't know what's going on with it a little weird um, for the first one here, which will probably be, I think if we're going to do Borg, I'm going to stick with Kitties, and this is a uh, Surgical Strikes build. Uh, what's Simon toting around on this one? Uh, this is my one of my control builds um, Yeah, on, on the Fleet Nova. So, a ship that you can easily get a hold of. Oh, and mine's the Fleet Adamant. Or the, yeah. Um, so some, like someone that. needs to uh, contact the authorities. We have a drunk pilot. Um, they, they seem sure to. Uh, going on. Where did he go? I lost track. Down. Oh, there he is down there. <laughs> that is that is bizarre. <laughs> as, as we're amused by other players. Um, I'm not not sure quite what's going on there, but okay. I'm gonna cue us up. We woo. I yeah, did. drunk freighter pilot is right. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. I'm trying to remember all the stuff I have on this setup. Okay, well, here we go. I'm so little. Uh, have all the science come on come on go science science go face magic and you got him yeah well oh somebody was just swooping in to help Three of four. There we um, go. Somebody's fighting down here. I'll come help. There we go. Four of four. And the big ship. Okay, now on this, they, they tend to die pretty quick, but do watch out for the this torpedoes of death. You will us to your own world. Uh, like that one, right there. If that hits you, it will be uh, a one-hit kill. Although I did know a tank that survived direct hit one time. Granted, they only had like 10% haul left, but still. I'm testing something. 
course, you're going to have to switch anyway, you said. so. I am. Are, did you leave already? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to jump to a different character here with a, a different ship and different build. Although I'm kind of curious if the drunk freighter pilot is still around. Yeah, so they changed the the thing now that you keep groups when you leave TFOs. Yeah, yeah. I I've noticed that like if you once you get the leave map button on your screen, it looks like it kicks everyone out of your group that was not in your group before you started. Because the, uh... they're still floating flying around in the system with you. It's just they aren't in the group anymore. The drunk freighter captain is still here, in fact. <laughs> that is the weirdest thing I've seen in uh, ESD space in a long time. It, it looks like the way he's turning and, and rearranging his ship, it looks like he's in a shuttle that somehow he's given the appearance of a freighter to. Not really sure what's going on with that, but it looks weird. Well, there anyway, are those freighters that you can get, and they aren't really meant for flying much. But uh, yes, there's the Sulaban one. There's the one that they are in. Oh, apparently I think I've completed my event. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would count as the daily, wouldn't it? Yes. Oh, hey, Chaos. Uh, yes. He hello, Chaos. Uh, welcome. Welcome. Um, what am we, I doing? we are I'm doing fun, crazy ships. stuff and, and showing off builds. So welcome. And I'm stuck on a loading screen right now. Mm. Staring at Beverly. <laughs> well, it's Taryn Beverly, but you know. I mean, technically here, this is my DPSB Intrigued. overload, I guess. In intriguing 1998. Hello. Welcome to the stream. 98. That was a good year. Vindal or Vindale. And I, I still can't say that. Vindale. Hi. <laughs> All right. So you just saw um, Grebog's control build. So this is going to be my science build. And this is the one that I call the Ice Princess. Okay, I'm going to queue us up if I hit the right button. This is my primary D beam overload setup where I, I tried to optimize it as best I could. I had a beam overload build it at one point. Now it's kind of morphed into more of a carrier build, but still. Well, well this, this is also the build that I have that is about ignoring shields. <laughs> you had shields? What? Oh, right. Okay, there we go. Oh, did I get an aftershock? Nope, I don't think I did, but I still took out the big ship. So I'll take it. And I got an accolade, Spider's Bane. So I this is all set up around space anomalies and cold damage. And we're, and we're done. done. Wow, that went really fast. I mean I don't know. I, I kind of wish they would put a harder difficulty for some of this red alerts, but it's that was fine. Normally, it's the Borg one that goes really fast, but this just went crazy fast today. We might have to run it again, but let's get through the rest of them first. Or maybe we'll do an endeavor when we're done with this. And... Oh, here, if we're doing a launch, I'll go. I'll go to the tank build. That's or maybe I should do that on the not cool. Okay, well, switching characters again. Um, Elachi. 
I guess I'll go ahead and bring my DPS. We'll do test low. So, so for those that don't know in our fleet that are yeah, that are in our fleet, uh well, the colony does now have the tank consoles, the tactical consoles available for purchase. So you oh, you too that. can grab this, those tanking consoles. And if you're curious on what that means, they are essentially the consoles that will do. It'll you can pick a flavor type, anti-proton, phaser, whatever. Um, they also have kinetic on it, but it has to do with the uh, chance to gain a stack of hull slash shield healing when activating space firing modes for energy weapons. And if you you notice that this build takes advantage of, while I don't have cannons. I have a cannon rapid fire here as well as also my fire at will. Hmm. I'm going to have to take a hard look at this build real when we're done here. For a low, low price. Right. The colony can use some help. <laughs> yeah, here, here's the other. Yeah, the colony is moving along. We are on the tier five project. You ready yet? No, my build is all messed up. And the loadout oh, didn't I save need... the way you wanted? I need to look at it, but it, it's fine. This should should work. So I, I've got this set up right now as a cannon scatter volley uh, build. Um, so we'll uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm queuing this up for the Alachi. Did it cue you, sir? I have a blinky blinky. Okay. That's the important thing. All the blinky blinkies. If you like to be further away from your ship, this is not the ship to fly. Um, The sticks. It is a big ship, which means this is as far away from it you can get the camera. Oh, I see. I see what's going on here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to take a long look at this build when we're done. Um. Okay, well. Yes? I'm twiddling my thumbs here. Well, not as many people want to run the, the these at the bottom of the list for the the red alerts. Yeah, you might want to, anybody in stream want to come with us to save us some time on this stuff. We have room for three. If anybody want to, wants to help us out, Tabby, Chaos, Vin, intriguing. And yes, we will be doing the Zenkethi one, which, which can fail. Yeah, that's the plan. Although, if we're going to be in queue forever, I suppose I can. Here, I'll just queue us up for all of them. See, the not cool one to me is not a hard one to do. It does take longer than the Borg one or the Tholian one, but it, it's not a hard one to do. Just because you have to wait for enemies to spawn. That's the only thing that slows it down. Vin says he'll help. Vin, what's your uh, name game? Is swapping also to a tune to help us. Well, here, I'll pull us out of queue real quick then so it doesn't pop while we've got... while we're waiting on people. Did that cancel it for you? Correct. Okay, good. Just checking. Oh, hi, Pirate Scum. Good to see you. Hey, JB. How are you doing tonight? We're, we're 
going over the red alerts one, but but because, yeah, people probably already know the red alerts. We we are also showing some of the builds that we have set up, um, and, and offering assistance in future episodes to go f through builds with people if, if they would like some help. Awesome. Uh, we do have room for one. You're more than welcome to tag along. We've got Vin with us waiting on um, Intriguing. Uh, intriguing, intriguing, are you on your... To... Uh, he's on a KDF tune right now. Uh, we are currently on Fed side, so... Yeah, and I don't think I can do these as a private match. Let's see. Are they in here? Oh, they are in here. I could do it as a private. Okay. Hopefully you guys are not hearing that my neighbors okay i got pirate invited I sent you both friend request as well, just in case you want to team up in the future. That gives us four. Hi, Renal. So are they hmm. Can you go to higher difficulties in no. in the private? Yeah. There's no drop down. The, the red alerts are just. Do we have a, a name for intriguing? An at handle? Uh, intriguing is. Here, can I? Uh, okay. Yes. Intrig intriguing 1998 is, is their at handle. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay. I tried to send an invite. Do you know what character name he's on? Carl. It's a, Carl, formerly known as Mark, at Intriguing 1998. Is it any spaces? Yes. The, there's Carl Space, formerly Space, known. Yeah, it's all spaced out. It's a sentence. One, nine, oop, one, nine. But there is no space at the at Intriguing 1998. Right. Gotcha. And there is no number symbol there, so. Um, how do they spell Carl? Because it says they weren't found. K. With a K. That's my problem. At Intriguing. We'll try this again. Okay, invited. <laughs> there we go. And that will probably make things easier down the road. Okay. All right. So we were going to do the Alachi, right? Yes.
Okay. I hit the start button. N now we just have to wait for a server to be like, oh, they want to play this one. Well, we're all in party now, too, so I could do it the other way. That way we get the, the Wii Woo, but I was on this menu. Fun, fun. We have lost a tower because <laughs> I'm out here in the tower control zone. I'm collecting people outside of ESD. Collecting people? That sounds bad. I, I, apparently, the, I, I noticed everyone was flying and <laughs> lining up with me. Thank you guys so much for helping us out. That is greatly appreciated. It saves us from sitting and twiddling our thumbs. I'm going to go to the center where all the Olachi spawn. Okay. Um, I will start there as well, and then I'll go up. Unless somebody else goes there. And now they pop like popcorn. Not the greatest view. <laughs> what of you sitting up there? Well, because I'm right, right, right by the shield thing. I got a really good demo record um, in here once. I have a really neat shot of of the uh, NX class. I need to uh, I need to do that again and get some of these newer ships I've got. Um, if someone will go to the arms and start clicking on the uh, interact button, that will save us some time in here. And, and for those that have never done this one, because it never becomes active, um, there are three points. One above me, which is where Tesla Tax is. Then at the end of each arm, there is another. The, the science teams will progress to those points. Um, if players also go to those points as well and just keep uh, basically doing the interact with it, you are disabling the space gate and uh, once the science vessels get there, you get a multiplier for every time you do that. So that, that you're supposed to be protecting them. Essentially, though, if you have your three people doing the, the, the points and then two more people guarding the gate. Is, unless there's something crazy going on, the two people guarding the gate will likely destroy everything and you will never have to worry about defending anything out there. Yeah, I, I actually think this needs to be updated and heck, have more enemies spawn in different locations. I, I get they're supposed to be coming through the gate, but still. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is my rainbow build. Ah! It's all um, Polaron damage, but I'm using different sets. So it's different colors, but it, it's all polar on damage. Yeah, I was like, even the torpedo. Oh, hey, my science team finally got here with, with JB here and, my, and myself. I don't know that there's going to be much getting through this gate. Um, I, I yeah. picked up this build off of uh, STO better, um, though though I'm sure I could tweak it some. And so it is a good, good it seems to be a good build. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm done. <laughs> I'm gonna come down here and maybe shoot some stuff. Oh, 
or you know not <laughs> i i mean you can come down here you, you're gonna have to to i guess try ah uh, look it's the boss Wow. I got a few shots off. All right. Well, that was that was fun. <laughs> so, how about them bears or something? I don't know. It, yeah, right. it was the boss. <laughs> Oh, we had somebody step out. That's okay. Yeah, go ahead and leave, guys. It should leave us in party. Yeah. Okay, JB, did you... have You've noticed this too, right? That when you now leave instances that you get left in the... the uh, in your party with your friends, whoever you went in with. And I'm not talking about the private. I'm talking like... Did they announce that that was something they've done? I don't think so. I, I know it's been a requested feature since, like, probably day one, but, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I, I'm fine if that's... <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, now cool and Zinketh here next. Are you switching ships again? I did. Would you invite me, please? I guess. I know, it's such a pain. Um, that screw up the private. Well, we don't, we have a full team. We don't need private. Okay. Um, you can, you can queue us or you can give it back to me and just queue for the event. So we are not cool. That's there. Yep. Are we going to purposely fail the, the mm -hmm. Zinkethi? Uh, we can, we could run it twice and purposely now, fail I, it. Once. I really don't. Yeah, yeah, Mendeo. I, I, I agree. I was like, I was like, I, I heard no announcement. I, but I, I will. I am not complaining. I am more happy to have this feature th than, you know. We just noticed it this past Monday or this past Thursday, like we were in a TFO and we all left, and it's like, wait, we're still in party. Why are we still in party? I, I noticed it a little bit. Uh... Oh, it's been, yeah, it's been a little while. Maybe it was last Monday. I was it's been a while. Thursday. It's been more than a week. T All time right. is so relative. So the, uh, this one, you have groups of enemies that show up and you have to go take them out. Um, for oh. my build on this one, I am flying the Jerok carrier. And I actually have it set up with a carrier build. Um, every time it summons fighters, it gets a boost to its uh, beam, its energy weapon damage. Um, I, it works pretty good. I still need to upgrade some of my weapons and stuff, as you can see here. But overall, it is not a bad build. I enjoy it. Here we go. Oh, we are such an overpowered group. <laughs> They're dying so fast. Yeah, it's pretty much as soon as their um, invincibility goes away, they're they're dead. You guys are killing him before I can even get to him. I feel like save some for me. <laughs> I I would, I was gonna say I'm like I, I I would I would try to tank them, but um th they they die like before I can get there, so or or before I hit them too much, so. And there's all my little fighters. Cheers. Oh so, yeah, this one we're rescuing raiders. 
from the not, not cool. Now we gotta go find the other one. They are over this way. Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> Look at all the boom. I, I was within range of some, and then they all blew up. Yeah, I know the feeling. They'll yell for help repeatedly. Um, I, I think they took out a lot of the delay in this one. You used to have well, to wait for them to spawn. I mean, when people are tearing through them like we are, do you blame them for reducing? Yay, distortion. Cheers. We've just... I think that's it. Oh, I no. There was one There's another group. group. Here we go. Hey, look, I was actually close enough to get some shots off. Okay, this is probably the end. Yep, that's it. That used to take way longer because the, you used to have to wait for them to actually leave system. Wow. Well, and there used to be a delay between the different spawns as well. Like, you'd have to wait for your escort to get to a certain place before the enemies would spawn. So the whole thing used to take longer. Task Force Ruffle Stomp at your service. Here, I'm going to... <laughs> Stomp. Ooh. Nope. Okay. Everybody leave party, then. Why? If you're switching characters. No, I'm not switching. Switching oh, ships. Okay. okay, well then when you're ready, toss me an invite. I, I was like, with this group, I, I can go with a weird ship. I don't have it fully um, golded out yet, so... This one is. I should be good to go on this guy. It, it's... Mostly okay. I need. Oh, I need another. I need to upgrade Who? one of the. Yeah, it's fine. It will be fine with this group. Who did we lose? Um. Oh, intriguing. Okay. Well, do we want to just, if we do the private side? Um, is he back on? He's on the Fed character still. Um, if you toss me invite, I'll re-invite him. Or toss me leader, I'll re-invite him. Or that works. Oh, I think the private thing's going at me. It is, because we have six people in there. Because there's... Yes, remove friend. No. Oh, it's me. There we go. There was two of me. That's a scary thought. Okay, so we're doing the Zen Kathy. Zen Kathy. Well, let's just raffle stomp it. I don't. I don't really care much about. Yes, you can fail it fail. if you don't let the the thing hit the. If you don't don't stop the torpedoes from hitting the planet, you lose. Supposedly, and of, in the future, they will remove the fail condition, <laughs> but they they still have not done that. The uh, the actual phrasing they use is 
will likely be removed in future runs of this event, but they have said that for years. It's been well before COVID that they, uh, Oh, you're on the Ferengi Marauder. Nice. Yes. And and then because... I mean... So, uh, we're dodging torpedoes, so I brought my torpedo boat. <laughs> this is Adam here. Ignore the butcher. Concentrate fire on the planet. I will deal with him. Kaboom. Destroy enemy battleships to bring out their dreadnought. This is another one that, like, I need to gold out all my stuff, but the build is working. There's just a few things I need to do to, to tweak this this ship's build, and it will be better. Like I said, I I, I need to uh, gold out the ship essentially. <laughs> well, there went this battle group. I almost feel sorry for them. Don't almost. feel sorry for them. They they wouldn't feel sorry for you. Are you back? You need help with the. No, I'm I'm good. I'm just trying to make sure that you know nothing gets past me. Uh, the, the torpedo had gotten off, so I was chasing it down. Destroy it at once. Oh, did I miss one? No, not on that side. On the other side. Oh. I noticed they were uh, advancing on on the forward. Grouping and uh, there was a torpedo. Excellent work. <laughs> Not a single one of their torpedoes hit the mark. Oh, the okay then. Twice about trying so, yes, if the torpedoes hit the planet, still, you lose. They are <laughs> if. <laughs> and they crave revenge almost as strongly as a Klingon. They may try such a bold attack again. Be ready. All right. Uh, thank you, everybody, for, for joining us. We got about 10 minutes here. Um, so the the whole reason that I wanted to flip through all the different ships was to kind of highlight the, the different builds in the game. Granted, things were dying so fast that we didn't really get to show off a lot, but it should still give you an idea of the possibilities for those that don't know. You, too, can Me. have a ship that blows everything up like popcorn. Yes. <laughs> Creepog and I uh, have a segment we do for Fleet Action Report that we named Enter the Workshop. And basically, we bring somebody in who wants help on a build or wants to try a new build, something like that, and we help you do the build while we are live streaming everything. Um, we've done this three times so far, and each time it has been a blast to do. So this was kind of my way of inviting all of our viewers to, you know, if you want to try something different, or if you're new to the game and you don't really understand builds or anything like that, for any reason, reach out to us. We would love to have you as a guest on the show and help you do a build. Um, now something... we do... Something we'll need to know is what ship you are wanting to fly because that will help us get it. And if there's a specific or, or, or if you just want a ship that works well with a specific build, um, we, we can, we can go either side of it. This will give us a starting point on where to go. Yes. And, and it, it has been a lot of fun. So don't be afraid to, you know, speak out and, and utilize us for this purpose because we really enjoy it. And uh, the people that we have helped have all given us um, positive praise for it. So 
enter the workshop. It, it's open for business. It, it sounds like JB's willing to assist us if we want any help on some builds, too. That, of course. We're good with that. Uh, actually, we've used uh, some of your videos for the builds that we do. I was just going to say, we do occasionally highlight our own builds as well. Like I mentioned the Ice Princess earlier. We did a whole video on her build and, and how I did it and what gear I used and all that stuff. So we will highlight our own builds as well. But the Enter the Workshop is specifically designed to help our viewers do a build. And we just do it on the air. It's been really cool. I mean, we used to tell people to go to Augie's videos, but as we all know, Augie has moved on to other stuff. I miss yeah. his content. I do too. Augie was, was a good dude. Unfortunately, sometimes things don't work out. Yeah. I'm glad he's he seems to be doing well, though. But that is the important thing. Um, okay, so tell us about the fleet, Grebog. What's going on with our fleet? So for those that are in AIE classes, uh, uh, the, the our fleet, um, we are on the colony, and basically, if you could go to the colony and, and do the ba battery provisions, that, that would be amazing, because um, when I last checked, if we just waited... It was going to be some 40 days of, of waiting uh, just from doing, wait, you know, because we, we get a, I guess, a stipend because we've pushed far enough of 3750 a day. But uh, if you can go there, I know it's only 250 but every 250 helps. And, and that will help us move closer to getting the Tier 5 colony knocked out. Um and the benefits to having the tier five colony will be, um, I guess, the Lucari Draenor scout ship. It, it is one of the better science vessels out there that you can fly. So, and, and then we'll we, we'll all be able to fly it. Isn't this the 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 disc, or is this the a boomerang? Can't remember. But, uh, yeah. Um, the KDF fleet is also moving along. The Dilithium mine is where it is on its final project. We are also starting up the Spire, um, and we're still working on the Starbase. So, the Boomerang. Okay, yeah. So. Well, we're th there's... doing okay. Yes? What? Um, I was just... The KDF fleet is still trucking along as well right yes kdf fleet is it, it like i said it needs some uh, guidance help here let i'm gonna can i just if i do that will that stop oh no it's just gonna invite everyone <laughs> what did you do Oh, it's because of uh, do do do. If I just do this, do this. It, it's the whole private thing when it when when it decides to just keep reinviting everybody. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, they need to work on that system a little bit. But uh, here I can swap swap over to the ADF side quick and show. But uh. My captain that I don't even play much, even though he, he's in charge of the fleet, but uh, I don't play him. Much. I play my other KDF tunes more than I play the, the one that's in charge of the fleet. But yeah, we are fleet marks and the Dilithium mine provisions, what we need there to get the tier three. But yeah, we are closing... Well, not close. Getting closer to tier three starbase, and the spire is actually moving along nicely. Have tier one here soon. So we're we're working on it. We got some some good people in our KDF fleet who have been just popping stuff left and right. So we've had some new people, new players, 
that are focused on KDF side instead of Fed. So seeing a little more action on the KDF Good. side. Uh, I need to. I need to have. I need to do more on the KDF side myself. I have several characters over there that need to be leveled. So that's that's good that we have people over there. I'm just saying I need to spend more time over there. Wait to Armada? That's weird. Don't we still have an Armada? Yeah, we're still. Let's see. If I go part to the, the right menu, <laughs> yeah, we we are part of JB's armada. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so I guess we we can invite people to to be in our less our sub armada. Um, oh, intriguing says you can invite me to KDF now. I'm, I, you mean the fleet? You want to join our fleet? I'm I'm confused. All hail the pirate scum brotherhood, indeed. We've actually been with you guys for quite a while now. Yeah, it it, it uh we 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 uh Okay. We can do that. Hang on one second here. Let me find my right character. J JB, we were part of your your armada before I realized how we got it like I'm like looking at the armada like wait, pirate I know this. Okay. Apparently we are. <laughs> you just probably didn't realize we were AIE. That's very true. There we go. You are invited, sir. Welcome, welcome. But uh, yeah, so so both fleets are moving along nicely. Um, I, I'm hoping that with the more like the, having the more active players, KDF side will actually help us move along. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get there. All right. So this coming Thursday, we do our typical uh, fun night. Everybody's invited to join. Um, we like to have a full team, but. You know, if we have more people than that, we can split into to two groups. We've done that before. Not a problem. So don't be afraid to to come and, and join the fun. I don't know what we're doing. We usually decide the night of. Um, sometimes we do endeavors. Sometimes we do TFOs. And sometimes we just help people do missions to, to level. So we'll, we'll do whatever people need to do. I'll, I'll and then, also be streaming more now. I've had a request from some people to, to I'm like, hey, do you, you know, do you really want me to stream my WoW raid? And so there were people like, yeah, do it. I'm like, okay. I, that means Tuesdays and Fridays, well, I'll, I'll be streaming my WoW raids. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it'll be interesting. You'll get the tank perspective. Nothing wrong with that. I might even watch some of that since I'm playing WoW again, although I've kind of been MIA for a few weeks. Although I, I decided I really do like their new, oh, what do they call it? The the new way to get cosmetic items. Uh, The trading the post? Yeah, that's it. The trading post. Yeah, that thing. I need I'm surprised. Well, I mean, so it is sort of thing, something that has actually been recommended. Well, people hoped that would come to uh, STO is something like that. Um, it, it, some people call them a battle pass system or something like that, because there are many games out there that have like a battle pass system where you get challenges you do over a certain amount of time and you get points. The points let you buy stuff and unlock stuff and... That is essentially what the trading post is. Kind um, of. I mean, a, a lot of, at least a lot of the battle passes that I'm familiar with have to do with leveling. And then every every season it resets your level and then you have to, to level back up. Um, 
wows is different wows is more go do this thing and we'll pay you for it okay well some of the i've I've seen battle passes where yes you level but uh some of them are are sim very similar set up to once you do x you get points whether it be like whether it's leveling whether it's uh you you've done they they put in some special event things yeah you know do x well, I... get points it will level you up in the battle pass and then well, you can get rewards yeah my my point was i think sto already has that though we have the dilithium store and that kind of fills that same role although you don't really get cosmetics there's a few uniforms in there but I mean, they could certainly do that as a way to get maybe more bridges um, or more uniform options. But again, the devs say that there's no money in it. So I I don't know. Um, I don't know. Maybe 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 they can do something with it. I, I would like to see, you know, them to do more cosmetic stuff within the game other than just ships which has kind of been the thing for a long time now. Heck, I but... would like even just cosmetic ships. Like, uh, just other variants of the ships we already have. Because... Without the seating and stuff? You yeah. don't need the I mean, seating. Just amazing. give me the hull point, you know, the hulls and the nacelles and all that, you know. I don't need every ship to have a seating. That's that's actually a really good point. Yeah, that could be a thing. All right, so sorry for the, <laughs> the tangent. tangent there. Uh, this is what um, you look forward to when listening to Grebog and Nicodus just talk. <laughs> so um, the fleet's doing good. Thursday is our fun night. Next week we'll be highlighting the Voth Invictus event. Um. Yeah, I, I think that covers everything. Any, any last minute thoughts, Screebog? Um, not yet. Um, I, I, I yet. I, <laughs> I, 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 I was like, I, there's something there, but uh, it'll have to wait till next time. All right. Well, then, as always, I will see you out there. Live long and prosper, and we'll be for the after show.